Welcome to Lecture Online and continuing with our lesson three in algebra called word problems. In this case, we're going to talk about geometric shapes. We'll have all kinds of different word problems. So this is what I would call lesson 3B. And uh, the problem we have here is the length of a rectangle is three less than four times the width. The perimeter is 34. Find the length and the width. All right. So first, it might be a good idea to draw a little rectangle. Here's the width. Here's the length. So we want to just use one variable x. We like to use let x be defined as the smallest of the two. And so we're going to let x equal the width of the, um, the rectangle. Then how do we express the length in terms of x? Well, it says here that it's 3 less than 4 times the width. So let 3 less, that's minus 3 than 4x. So this is 4 times the width minus 3, which means 3 less than 4 times the width, and that will represent the length. All right, so now that we have both the width and the length expressed in terms of x, we can now go ahead and use the information that tell us that the perimeter is 34. So we can say that the perimeter, which is defined as twice the width plus twice the length, now we plug in what the width and the length are equal to in terms of x. So perimeter is equal to 2 times the width, which is x, plus 2 times the length, which is 2x, oh, not 2x, but 4x minus 3. 4x minus 3. And of course, the perimeter was defined as 34. So now I can write that 34 is equal to 2x plus 2 times 4x minus 3. And now we just have to solve that for x. All right, giving myself some more room, rewriting it over here. I can say that this is uh, 34 is equal to 2x plus 2 times 4x minus 3. All right, so what do we do first? Well, we want to get rid of the parentheses first. So let's multiply the 2 with both the 4x and the negative 3. So we get 34 equals 2x plus 8x minus 6. Now the next step is to move all the... Uh, terms with the x in it to the left side, everything else to the right side. So we're going to move the 2x and the 8x to the left and the 34 to the right. Again, when you cross the equal sign, you, you change the sign. So this becomes minus 2x minus 8x equals minus 6, which is already on the right side, minus 34. And then combining like terms to minus 2x minus 10x minus 8x is minus 10x equals, that would be minus 40 and then dividing both sides by the numerical coefficient in front of the x, which is minus 10. We get x is equal to a positive 4. All right, going back to see what that means, we defined the width as x, so we know that the width now is 4, and then the length is 4 times that minus 3. Well, 4 times 4, that's um, 16 minus 3, which is therefore 13. And there are the two answers. The width is 4, and the length is 13. And that's how you do that.